An interface is a definition of uh, a set of operations. And um, it's like a contract, basically saying that multiple objects, one or more than one, in the system could promise to support this type of interface, which means simply provide a list of methods, implement them, and so this interface could then be used to access these methods, and I will show it in a second. In our case, most likely an autopilot could be implemented directly by an aircraft. In UML, um, uh, the implementation, I see, depends on, uh, right here, implements interface. If I activate this particular uh, option here, I can draw the line, and uh, this uh, punctured line with, um, with uh, similar to, uh, with the relationship si similar to inher inheritance relationship, which is like a hollow triangle, an arrow, like that, basically says that class aircraft implements interface autopilot. What it means is that um, it's not, um, it's not that um, uh, an, an something named I, I, autopilot uh, has any implementation of, 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 of the specified methods. However, it's a contract get, get the, get that could be used directly by other objects. For example, I may require, and I'm trying to sort of like invent this on the fly right now, but I may require that uh, in order to use an autopilot in this system, what needs to happen is that the pilot has to use another class named navigation. Just, you know, maybe, right? So there's navigation of some sort, uh, the class responsible for navigation. And I will not uh, really try to elaborate on this, but what happens is that maybe I can then use an association, another association which is right here, just a simple association, showing that pilot also has access to the navigation system. Okay, and oops, uh, let me remove this. And um, in that case, uh, let me adjust this. Ben style, we'll try this. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. And so then uh, in case of the using uh, an autopilot, the navigation instead of having access to the to the entire aircraft, the navigation may actually ha be associated with only this particular interface. Okay? So there's a possibility that the pilot may decide to use, may decide to use uh, an autopilot mode. In that case, they have to talk to a specific part in the system, which is called navigation. In that navigation, instead of having direct access to the to the aircraft, instead only has access to an autopilot, and therefore is restricted only to those three uh, methods that are sp specified by an interface. So for example, uh, we could do this. We could have another method na named fly, right? Name fly. And in fact, we could pass, uh, wh what it should say perhaps is that, uh, can say aircraft, aircraft, uh, and that's the, the type of the parameter that uh, it would be expecting in our case, but you know, we could uh, add a method like that and so when we say navigation fly we have an instance of navigation constructed perhaps by the pilot class 
And so when we say fly, we pass a reference to object aircraft, but it will be accepted as a, an interface. So uh, in this case, what I would do is to change the aircraft parameter here to I autopilot. <coughs> Okay, so this little, um, you know, very explicitly specifying that the navigation does not have access to all of the methods in the uh, aircraft uh, class. For example, you cannot use navigation to land or to take off, but you can use navigation class to control the aircraft through the set of these methods specified in the interface and we use it in an autopilot interface and so you can set course you can set altitude and you can set speed with that right so uh, this is an example of UML using an interface and this is um, you know uh, a, a set of topics we, we tried to talk about a little bit um, you know last week what I can also think about is that um, uh, perhaps um, um, there could be um, um, I'm just thinking about uh, you know other possibilities here perhaps some sort of an em emergency situation where the navigation has to uh, sort of the, like terminate the the autopilot mode and come back so perhaps um, there may be a, a way to say that in case of something happens like an emergency so that autopilot mode which is perhaps represented by this fly method if it needs to if it needs to notify by the emergency it may actually need to have uh, access to the pilot object so that they can notify the pilot in that case, I would say that uh, maybe this method should also take another parameter, which would be pilot, right? And say, uh, it, it, it can talk back to the pilot class, right? So that, uh, you know, uh, in case of an emergency, the navigation shouldn't stop doing what it's doing, but should be able to, to send a message back to the pilot to perhaps, you know, notify about certain things. So um, we could say um, there sh could be a method named emergency uh, right here. And maybe it takes uh, a bunch of parameters. I don't know what, but it may be communicated to by the navigation system, which seems to be uh, capable of, 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 of doing the navigation in autopilot mode. In this case, to, to, to indicate that there is such a possibility, this arrow must go. This arrow right here, the arrow, uh, it, uh, what I need to change is that um, uh, the end arrow head simply is removed. And when there is no arrow on this diagram, it means that this association line provides the possibility of communication pilot calling a method in the navigation like fly and which means in our in our case seems to be in autopilot mode and then the navigation while executing this method could also call back the pilot and say hey we have an emergency or something like that right so the pilot may as well try to uh, you know respond back and say okay let's terminate the autopilot and the fly uh, method will then return and the pilot will take over the control of, of the aircraft things like that so uh, clearly this association between the pilot and, and, and the aircraft indicates that the the aircraft does not know about the existence of the pilot not based on our design because the arrow here indicates that there's only one-way communication the pilot has access to an aircraft the aircraft does not have access to the pilot. In fact, the, the aircraft right here in our design um, has no access to any other objects. Um, this line here says implements. This is the implementation. 
So let's uh, try to take this uh, design and maybe write a code example on this. And so in this case, uh, the um, um, I guess the sample interface right here named I autopilot and uppercase I indicating in front of the name of this interface kind of suggesting to the programmer that this is interface just a reminder uh, this maybe you know calling it uh, that way is that this is specifically a reduced interface of the entire aircraft Right. So, so, but uh, obviously, and there is no magic behind the interface. Simply, a class has to provide these methods. But interestingly, when we say, when the pilot says, "Okay, I'm gonna go into autopilot mode," it calls fly method, and what it passes to the method is not the entire object, but a reference of the type of this interface. So the navigation, when it gets a reference to the, to the aircraft, it gets its reduced version of this particular interface. And so we have this sort of like intermediary here so that the navigation can do this. But obviously, this is implemented by the aircraft. So let's, let's just real quick put this in coding and uh, basically uh, make it uh, make a demonstration of it in a real project. Uh, any questions about this so far?